This Java code defines a class called book. This book class has three private instance variables, or fields, which are used to store the book's title, author, and ISBN number. These fields are private, meaning they can only be accessed within the book class and not from outside the class. The class also has a constructor method that takes three arguments, a title string, an author string, and an ISBN string. The constructor assigns these values to the respective instance variables. Additionally, the class has three getter and setter methods for each of the instance variables. The getter methods return the current value of the field, and the setter methods allow the field value to be changed. Finally, the class has an overridden toString method that returns a string representation of the book object's state, including the title, author, and ISBN number. Overall, this book class provides a template for creating book objects that can be used to store and retrieve information about individual books. User class This Java code defines a class called user that has a username and a list of loaned books as its instance variables. It also has a constructor that takes a username as an argument and initializes the list of loaned books to an empty array list. The class provides getter and setter methods for the username instance variable. Additionally, it provides three methods related to managing the user's loaned books. Add book to loans, book book this method takes a book object as an argument and adds it to the user's list of loaned books. Remove book from loans, string ISBN this method takes a string ISBN as an argument and removes the book with the corresponding ISBN from the user's list of loan books. It uses the remove if method from the list class along with a lambda expression to remove the book with a matching ISBN. Get book from loans, string ISBN this method takes a string ISBN as an argument and returns the book with the corresponding ISBN from the user's list of loan books. It iterates through the loan books list using a for each loop and returns the book with a matching ISBN, or null if no such book is found. Library Management System Class this Java code defines a class called Library Management System that provides a set of methods for managing a library of books and a set of users. The class contains two instance variables, a map of book objects called library and a map of user objects called users. The constructor initializes these maps as empty hash maps. The class provides the following methods. Add book, book book this method takes a book object as an argument and adds it to the library map, with the book's ISBN as the key. Remove book, string ISBN this method takes a string ISBN as an argument and removes the book with the corresponding ISBN from the library map. Get book. String ISBN this method takes a string ISBN as an argument and returns the book with the corresponding ISBN from the library map. Search by title, string title this method takes a string title as an argument and returns a list of book objects that match the search query. It searches through the library map using a for each loop and adds any books with matching titles to a new array list. Search by author, string author this method takes a string author as an argument and returns a list of book objects that match the search query. It searches through the library map using a for each loop and adds any books with matching authors to a new array list. Add user, user user this method takes a user object as an argument and adds it to the user's map, with the user's username as the key. Remove user, string username this method takes a string username as an argument and removes the user with the corresponding username from the user's map. Get user, 
String username This method takes a string username as an argument and returns the user with the corresponding username from the user's map. Checkout book, string username, string ISBN This method takes a string username and a string ISBN as arguments and checks out the book with the corresponding ISBN for the user with the corresponding username. It first checks if the user has already loaned the maximum number of books, which is 5 in this case. If the user has not loaned the maximum number of books, the method retrieves the user and book objects from their respective maps and adds the book to the user's loan books list. It then removes the book from the library map. Return book, string username, string ISBN This method takes a string username and a string ISBN as arguments and returns the book with the corresponding ISBN from the user with the corresponding username. It retrieves the user and book objects from their respective maps and adds the book back to the library map. It then removes the book from the user's loan books list. This Java code defines a class named Library Management System Test, which contains a main method that creates and uses instances of the Library Management System, book, and user classes. The library management system test class instantiates a new library management system object named LMS and two new book objects named book1 and book2. The addBook method of LMS is then called to add these books to the library system. The getBook method of LMS is then called with the ISBN of each book to retrieve the corresponding book objects which are then printed to the console using system.out.println. The removeBook method of LMS is called to remove book 1 from the library system, and then the getBook method of LMS is called again with the ISBN of book 1 to verify that it has been removed. The search by title method of LMS is called with the string Mockingbird to search for all books in the library system with Mockingbird in their title. The results are returned as a list book and printed to the console using system.out.println. A new user object named user1 is created and added to the library system using the addUser method of LMS. The getUser method of LMS is then called with the username of user1 to retrieve the corresponding user object, which is printed to the console using system.out.println. The checkout book method of LMS is then called with the username of user1 and the ISBN of book2 to loan book2 to user1. The get book method of LMS is then called with the ISBN of book2 to verify that it has been checked out, and the get loan books method of user1 is called to retrieve a list of all books that user1 has checked out. The checked out book object and the list of loaned books are printed to the console using system.out.println. Finally, the return book method of LMS is called with the username of user1 and the ISBN of book2 to return book2 to the library system. The get book method of LMS is then called with the ISBN of book2 to verify that it has been returned and the get loan books method of user1 is called again to verify that user1 no longer has book2 checked out. The returned book object and the updated list of loaned books are printed to the console using system.out.println.